Two decades have gone by and Jason Jolkowski's family continues to search for answers, hoping someone will come forward with new information. Answers, no clues, just the reminder that it's been 20 years and no one knows what happened to Jason Jolkowski. There's no leads, nobody saw anything, and you know, the detectives just didn't find anything, so there's no way of knowing. That's Donnie to say she was 16 when her 19 year old cousin disappeared. June 13th marks 20 years since Jolkowski was unexpectedly called into work and agreed to meet his co worker at Benson High School for a ride. And so he was last seen taking the trash cans into his house and a neighbor saw him do that and then his brother also looked out the window and saw him walking in the direction towards Benson and he was never seen or heard from again. I didn't realize it's been 20 years. That's a, that's a long time. Chester Link, a former neighbor, says he was one of the last people to see him that day walking towards the school. I don't understand how someone could just vanish with no trace, no foul play, nothing like that. There's a tree at Roberts Park planted off the Keystone Trail in honor of Jolkowski. Sunday afternoon, friends, families, and neighbors gathered to share memories, paint and hide rocks with the hashtag Find Jason J. I remember one time he had this idea to do a popsicle race as which color would me melt the fastest. And I know red one. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children created an age progression photo that shows what Jolkowski would look like now at the age of 39. Someone does know something. We need someone to come forward and help, you know, alleviate all our pain.